I feel like it's Christmas, honestly. It's, um, it's an exciting day, because it's been a couple of weeks since I left my 82 911 SC at Ressant behind this door. Andrew tells me they've had it on a dyno. The car's now ready for me to test. Let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Right. <laughs> There's the car, look at this. Oh, it looks amazing. Andrew! Hey, mate. How are you going? going? Good. I'm off for a row of you. All right, I'm, I'm doing really, well. Really oh. Good to see you. I'm very excited. Good to see you. Oh, good yeah. to see you. The car's looking amazing. Thank you. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with it. Right, so the first thing I noticed as I walked through was the most visual thing, which is two towel pipes. Yeah, I know. We're, we've doubled. <laughs> You've doubled the towel pipes, which yeah. looks absolutely incredible, doesn't it, on the back of this it does. SC. Uh, are you pleased with the way it's gone? Yeah, it's gone really well. It's been a fun project. So, you know, what you're seeing on the end there is the M&K muffler. So yeah. it's a two in, two out. Uh, like we talked about, it has the, the backdated headers, so improved flow and we've retained the heat and it just sounds incredible. Fantastic, okay, yeah. but the bit that I'm really excited about <laughs> is uh, what's underneath the Oh, you want to see? I oh, want to see. That's it. the yeah. best part right there. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Oh, <laughs> yes. That is, that is just on the it's a, <laughs> That's Christmas it's and a, birthdays all at once. It's a new machine back there for sure. It's just so nice, isn't it, to look at. Now it looks like a, a piece of jewelry, a piece of art, uh, where before it's just a big mess, really, yeah. underneath there. So tell me what I'm looking at. Obviously, I'm looking at your planning system. That's the most obvious thing uh, right there on top. And that just looks incredible. So tell me about it. Yeah, for sure. So. Uh, you know, we have a few versions available. So this is our 964 plenum version. So uh, it's from the 964 and 993 plenums are very similar. Uh, one of the advantage with that is we have a, a resonant valve in right. the middle of the plenum. So it's opening at different engine speeds. Gotcha. Uh, it improves efficiency. It kind of optimizes across the rev range, which gotcha. is a huge advantage. And then you can see it's on top of our throttle body. So we've combined the advantages of the plenum with that snappy throttle response of the ITBs. So. Fantastic, and all of this stuff is developed and made here. It is, yeah, so we do all the design here and we have our CNC hammering away in the back to make parts, so. It's incredible. Yeah. So when I, um, when I finally get behind the wheel with this and it's only minutes away, uh, what am I expecting to, to feel? What's gonna be the differences for me? Bear in yeah. mind, you know, when I drove it here, actually it was a nice car, it felt good, it just felt like an 82 SC. Um, it was, exciting only in the sense that it had a bit of torque to it and it had that flat six noise but it wasn't really intoxicating so what should i feel now yeah for sure we've really woke it up i think i'll be really <laughs> excited with it and Good. uh dyno data to back that up so it's i'm excited to show you everything so, so when you told me at the dyno you've achieved the wheel horsepower of 200 horsepower we're talking about probably around 230 at the crank yeah. So that's like 27 percent more than what Porsche had back in the day. Yeah. For a 38 year old car, that's kind of incredible. It's huge. It's yeah. Huge. Yeah. I mean, it's going to make a huge difference. Yeah. So what am I going to feel? Yeah. So there's a lot of advantages. So uh, you know, one of the first things you'll notice is just snappy throttle response. So from cold start, it's just immediate, and it's, it sounds amazing. Fantastic. Uh, it, it, and really, a lot of top end rush too. So beyond 4,000 RPM. Just keeps pulling. It keeps pulling. Oh, it's, it's, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and what about that torque curve? Because that's the one thing about this car I love. It had that moment where it pushed you in the back of your chair. Uh, do we keep that? Yeah, we absolutely keep that, and it's improved. So it just it keeps pulling. You know, I think peak torque now is is closer to 5,000 RPM. Really? Um, yeah. Without really any reduction on the bottom end. So it's a win-win. That's, that's amazing. And you've managed to achieve all of this with your products and you haven't actually got into the engine. There's no, nothing we've changed in the engine, no uh, new cams or anything like that. Right, yeah, this is all just bolt-on parts. So it's amazing, you know, the capability of the engines and, and how they can perform. It's incredible. Right, now I'm desperate to hear it because it's going to be the sound of the exhaust. So you haven't started this yet. It'll be a cold start, will it? It'll be a cold start, yeah. Do I hear it? Do For you sure. crank it? Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Already I 
can hear, hear the improvements in this car. I haven't got anywhere yet. It was such a delight to see it cold start, just a few cranks of the key and it burst into life, this car. And this is the bit that I'm excited about and it's what it's all been about, you know, choosing Rassant to do the work on this car was absolutely pivotal to me because I knew that they have a quality product, they have great belief in what they do and already I can feel that there's going to be a monumental difference to the way this car sounds, looks and performs. But what is important for me is to not lose that Porsche feel, the thing that attracted to me to this car in the first place. And I can tell you, Andrew, he seems to be delighted with the way that this car performs when he put it on a dyno. You have to remember when Porsche would have dynoed this car back in 1982, they would have measured it at the crank and that would have been 200 horsepower. We now have over 200 horsepower at the rear wheels, which means that the crank were probably at 230, 235, somewhere like that. So we know that there's been a real improvement in this car. We know that this car's gonna be 25% more powerful, if not more, than it was before. But I won't know that until I try it. And now I've got everything dialed in and the temperature's nice and the oil pressure's up. Let's see what it feels like. And what I'm feeling when I put my foot down is an instant throttle response. It's so much livelier, the throttle response. But not only that, you can feel this mid-range torque and it's got it in oodles. It pushes you into the back of your chair. It pushes your kidneys into the back of the seats. And it just feels epic. And what with the soundtrack that's playing around me as well. The whole thing is a, a visual experience that's second to none. And I can't believe that this is the same car. Remember, this car's 38 years old. 38 years old. And it does this. And my God, <laughs> you've given me more. I didn't expect that much more. That's incredible. And you've got to remember, this has all been achieved by using products that's been developed in-house. The Motec electronic system, the throttle body is developed by Andrew and a team at Rissant. And of course, the plenum system also developed by Andrew. And it's completely transformed the way that this car performs. And now I've got a car that not only did I love before, but now I'm in love with it. It's absolutely intoxicating. Well done, boys. Well done. The other thing that's a delight as well is just normal driving, slow driving, just cruising like this. It feels so much smoother. It really does. And I'm not saying that just for the sake of saying it. The throttle pedal is so much lighter than it was before. You had to really squeeze on the throttle pedal. Now it feels like it's really delicate and it's a lovely touch under your right foot and it's made driving like this just better and smoother. Plus, you know, rock the windows down. I don't think I'll ever put the radio on again in this car because I just want to listen to that exhaust over and over again. It's just, just lovely, isn't it? Just lovely. I need to thank Andrew, Ryan, Trevor and Kevin for an amazing job. Thanks a lot, guys. You may be so happy. Oh! <laughs>